Hello guys, I'm Isaiah, and welcome to the Nuclear Reviews channel. This is going to be a crystal tag lock I'm doing with a friend. And, um, we're just gonna be having some fun with it. We're boys, both of us. But, we're gonna do it right. And I'm going, we're going to be dividing this episode up into gems, so each episode will end with us doing a gem. Set it tonight. And this isn't a Nuzlocke or anything. We're just going to be uh, moving at our own pace, catching what we want to catch. And just all together having fun with the game. So, let's begin, shall we? Hello! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Now, usually I would just put in my YouTube channel name. Which, uh, this isn't my original channel. This is just a channel I'm doing with a friend. But we're going to make it Link. Since we're linking together to do this Let's Play, we will go with the name Link. I'll be seeing you later. There's nothing in the PC, and I'm going to be playing on two times, times two speed. Um, my buddy who's doing the other half of the game will be probably playing it at normal speed, but that's alright. Um... Well, today is technically Sunday, so whatever. I mean, I didn't even set the time right, to be honest. I just set it at something so I could catch some Pokemon for our team. I mean, not that they're gonna probably not going to be our team at the very end of the game. Because the other guy can feel free to change whatever he wants. But for now, I am in control! <laughs> no, I don't want to help you, you old faggot. Oh, man. Now you want me to go meet some guy called Mr. Pokemon? Well, okay, I'll do it. <sighs> what do I want? I think I'll take this Pokemon. So, you like Chikorita? Yes, I do. Please hand it over. And now we got to nickname all the Pokemon, so... Let's name it... Chicka love. Shout out if you get that reference, bro. It's a great name. References days. Mmm, give me that potion. It's gonna taste good on my Chikorita. Now we just gotta get to Mr. Pokemon as quickly as we can. Get through this garbage. But, we do want to take out these wild Pokemon so we can get our chick -a love up to a decent, nice, decent level. I may speed up from time to time, so you may see me do that. Like, it's already going at times two, but I need, need to speed up if I'm looking for, like, a Pokemon I want to catch. Because I don't want to sit here all day wasting time. Because I, I do have a lot to do in this episode. I have to do Sprout Tower and, um, and the first gym. And neither of those things are going to be fun, because, man, does it take a long time to grind since I can't do edits on these videos. Wish I could, but I am not good at that kind of stuff yet. Plus, I also wish I could make the stupid buttons disappear, but you guys will love it. It's, it's going to be a great series. Because we're going to beat it! And we're going to try our best to finish this all in about 16 episodes. Well, actually, in all honesty, I'll probably take a little bit more than that since we have 16 gems to do and we have to beat the Elite Four twice and then Red. And we're going to be splitting the Elite Four up into each of us are going to take on two members of it. Um, and then the Champion will be an episode for whoever gets it. And then we got to take on Red. And that will be fun. Clearly. But 
we can do it if we believe. And especially if we have the support of you guys. Now this is the very first video we're putting up on the Nuclear Reviews channel because we do want to get some content onto the channel. And my original channel isn't exactly being used anymore for personal reasons. Um, but this channel I will not, I will try my best not to abandon. We're not going to make any promises for videos. For this channel we're just going to upload when we upload. We're going to try our best to keep this series off. Oh. Friggin' crap. Well, we can't get Polywag anymore, so that sucks. I should have set the time a little bit further back. Man, I should have known five minutes wasn't going to be fast enough. Oh well, there's still two Pokemon we'll be able to catch that I want to put on the team, so that's great. I wanted Polywag because it would have been a nice water type to have early on. I mean, having a Poliwhirl and a Poliwrath can't exactly get much better than that. I mean, guess Politoed would be better. I'm not actually entirely sure how to evolve it into Politoed. No, no, wait, I know. Never mind. <gasps> Don't quote me on that. You just need the King's Rock. However, we cannot trade in this game, so we would have to go with the Toad. Not the Toad, we'd go with the Wrath. The Wrath of the Polys. The Poly Wrath. The Polygon. Give me the egg, old man. Shut your blue haired mouth. Looking like Dr. Briefs in his younger days. Mm hmm. Yes, it's very interesting giving me a encyclopedia for random Pokemon. Oh man, that's. So nice of you to give me this high tech device and then just fucking leave. Oh, hello, Link. It's, um, oh, what should I do? Please get back. Oh man, I wonder what's up with him. He seemed to be worried. <gasps> it's a little hop pip. Hop pip. Pip pip. Oh man, hop pip. Hop pip. Oh well. Let's just murder it. Oh yeah, level 8. Mmm, Razor Leaf. I like Chikorita because Cyndaquil learns Smoke Screen first and doesn't learn Ember until long ass time. I'm not really sure about Totodile. I think he learns Rage, which is kind of garbage early on. But Chikorita, his first move he learns after you get him is fucking Razor Leaf, which is beautiful. Such power early on. I mean, sure, it doesn't really help for the first two gems and. The third gym isn't super easy, neither is the fourth. You know, Chikorita is actually garbage pretty much all the way up through the Johto League. But, once we get over there into the Kanto region, we're gonna fucking kick some ass with our Meganium. Well, unless uh, the other guy wants to get rid of our Chikorita and releases it during his episode. But, it's whatever for now. Chikorita's gonna be strong. And I say Chikorita's pretty garbage but through this region due to the fact that the first um, five, six, seven, actually all eight gyms in Johto were kind of terrible for Chikorita. Because we have Flying, which we're weak to, Bug, which we're weak to, um, after that is Poison. No way, after that is normal, which we're just neutral against, but Whitney hits like a fucking tank. That's why she's infamous in the Pokemon gaming world, as one of the worst gym leaders. However, she is easily beatable if you know what you're doing and you're experienced. And after Whitney, we have Poison Ghost, because, you know, there were no new ghosts introduced in Johto, as from what I remember. Wait a minute. No, I'm pretty sure I'm right. His name, don't tell anyone, gonna be Butt. Because it's funny. <laughs> nah, just because I'm immature. Give me, the here you go, old man. Have my egg. Be sure to fertilize it real good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. 
Oh, sh yeah, well, sure. I'll definitely beat the Pokemon League. Oh, man, thanks, dude. Now I can capture monsters in my balls. That joke hasn't been made in every single Pokemon playthrough ever. I mean, I'm sure it hasn't been made in every playthrough, but in this one it is. And it is a pretty common kind of joke that you're putting creatures in your balls. But our first Pokemon is going to be on Route 42, right here. May It's kind of rare, so it might take a while to find. But we will do it. Plus, we can get some more grinding up. Which, I'm gonna... You're gonna see how I change the speed real quick. Because this is gonna take a while. It's really rare. Okay, that noise is gonna be annoying, but... Uh, we will find our Pokemon a lot faster if we do it like this. I mean, sure, it's kind of cheating, but... What do you know? There it is. Our very first Pokemon is gonna be Fampy. We just need to catch it. Ah, oh, frickin', yeah, Gen 2. Geodude, Rattata. Having these really rare Pokemon being able to flee is terrible in Gen 2. Like, it happens a lot. It's only got like a 5% chance to spawn, so that's why I wanted to turn this on. I mean, you know, it's no harm, no foul, right guys? As long as we can move on. Rattata. Didn't mean to use Growl. Razor Leaf. Oh my god, dude. I'm fucking dumb. Razor Leaf. Which is what, what I was trying to make it change to, anyways. Razor Leaf again. Just keep swimming. Just keep killing. Just keep killing. What do we do? We kill. Oh, come on, Dampy. How freaking hard is it for you to appear? I mean, sure, 5% is almost nothing, but it's much better than 1%. Oh, motherfucker. I mean, whoops. I don't think I'm supposed to say that. Shh. You don't tell anyone, I won't tell anyone. Let's just try throwing a Pokeball. Oh my god, no! This is gonna take forever. Friggin' hate trying to catch Bampy. I've done it before. I almost, almost always use Bampy on my teams. But, what do you expect? Non-fan is power. I mean, if you can get it. I might just play on this speed all the way up through to the, uh... Stay in the ball, please. It's basically what I have to do, because he flees otherwise. I love just Chikorita learn Sleep Powder. And does it even matter? I don't think Fampy is going to stay anyways. I may have to cheat to catch it. But you guys wouldn't tell anyone that I cheated, would you? Because I'll let you see exactly what I do. You know... I may have to go buy more balls. I do want to finish the stupid game today. And not being able to do edit sucks. At least I know that these videos aren't going to take up too much space on my phone. Because I don't have a whole lot to put on here anyways. Come on, Vampy. Buddy, 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 buddy. At this rate, I'm going to find a shiny before I catch you. Two more Pokeballs, buddy. Okay, here's how you cheat. Save. Quick save. Then, you just keep doing it. Like this. See, that's how you do it. You get Fampy. And we're gonna nickname it fucking Jolly Rancher or something. <laughs> yeah, sorry I had to do that, guys, but I wasn't gonna stay here all day and just flipping. try to catch him when his name is Jolly Ranch whatever you like it you love it but I wasn't gonna stay here all day trying to catch a Pokemon that didn't want to stay in a ball and especially since it can flee makes it way harder 
Oh, he knows tackle. Cool. I thought he only knew growl. Well, this won't take long to train him up, I guess. I'm just kidding. It's going to take forever. But since I'm going to continue playing on this speed just because this is early game and this is really, I want to get this done with so that we can start uploading and just to let you guys know that this is happening. Hey, Lediba, maybe I should put him on our team and release every one of our other Pokemon. Beat the first game gym with just Lediba. Anyways, back whenever I first played this game, I only ran into Lediba once because I didn't realize that there was a um, day-night cycle that actually made a difference on when Pokemon appeared. So I never really got to use Lediba as a kid, but as I got older, I used it in other games and wasn't great. Oh my god, I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Youngster Joey, the meme god himself, with his level 4 Rattata. Let's see who's stronger, Rattata. Well, you know, well now we know the answer. Rattata is top percentage and beat a ground type. But we gotta run back with our speed button since, you know literally can't do anything else because there are no running shoes in this game that is the only problem problem with this game is th th I wouldn't be playing with the speed up button had if we were able to get running shoes in this game level 11 um, Fampy learns rock throw I think which is what I'm trying to oh crap I forgot to buy pokeballs thankfully I remembered that before we get up here to catch our next team member, which, as I said, may or may not end up being permanent on the team all the way through, because we can swap out anytime we want. Like, if I want to remove Pokemon that the other guy catches, I can do that. If he wants to remove Pokemon that I caught, whatever. We can do as we please, because it's our video and our stuff. Like, his videos are probably going to be more... going to be a little bit better than mine, because he's actually going to be able to edit them and put a little border around it but for me I am just going to make the videos like this and hope you guys like the content that I'm putting out I mean if not then go fuck yourselves no I'm just kidding if you don't like it then I don't know what to tell you just watch all the even number videos and you'll see his and they're gonna be a lot better than mine they'll probably recap what I did in the last episode before his that's really all you're going to need to watch. Oh my god, mom. Yes, please save my money. Mmm, sweet monies. It's going to be so tasty to get all that money at the end of the game. Or anytime we need to buy stuff. Or have her buy stuff for us. And interrupt us in the middle of our journey. Next Pokemon is going to be in here. Did I forget to buy Pokeballs? No, I didn't. I did buy Pokeballs, I remember. Okay, um, let's see if I can get that item. Okay. Hey, there it is. Wee! A Zubat! Yeah, that's definitely what I was looking for. Because everybody wants to see a playthrough where you put Zubat on your team. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. That's not who I'm trying to catch. Um, you guys might know who it is. He does appear in here, just very rarely. <coughs> Some people might not even know that he appears in here. That's how rare it is. I know because I ran into him once on my first time entering the cave and I've never been able to find him because I couldn't remember which time of day it was that he appeared. So I looked it up on the Bulbapedia and it said to check in the morning. If he appears, that'll be great. He does have the same appearance rate as Bampy, so 5%. As we know, is not much, but it's something better than nothing. And he's gonna pack some real power once he evolves, just like Fampy. <clears throat> and I look for long term instead of short term, even though Fampy has power both ways. There he is, our little teddy bear. No, fuck. Should have just cheated right away. But I don't want to use that too much, because I don't want to fucking... 
don't want to rely on that. Like I said, kind of cheating. Even though I did pay for the stupid emulator. And I do own this game. IRL. Because I even have a Game Boy Color still. I'm just not going to pay for the shit to fuck, actually record the game. Because it doesn't... <coughs> because it doesn't really matter that much. As long as you own the game, you can do whatever you fuck you want with an emulator. Do whatever you want with the regular game. As long as Nintendo doesn't find out, or they might brick your console. I mean, clearly they're not going to brick a game, game Boy, because they, I don't think they can. But, don't want to do all that cheating on your 3DS with your new copies of Sun Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, because they will brick your console in a heartbeat when they do their system updates and stuff. Because they do not like when you fuck with their shit. Like, Cool ROMs had to remove all of their Pokemon games a long time ago. That's where I used to get all my games back in the day. Before I started doing this YouTube stuff. <sighs> come on, come on. We just want to find Teddy Ursa. I don't want to... There it is. Screw it. We're going to have to do the thing again because I don't have all day. Oh, cool. I didn't even need to. Little Bear, we are going to name you... You're a female, so let's just name you... Um... You're... Fat. You're fat. You're fat, the Teddy Ursa. Because fuck him. Yeah, we're talking to you, old man. Sleepy old man. Oh my god, the bug catcher. How did I ever not remember that you were here? Not really, I knew you were here. And I also know that that's a Pokeball right down here. Oh yeah, Teddy Ursa's already taken out and packing the punch. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, death right there. Cool, Jolly Rancher, get out there. I'm probably going to call him Jolly Rancher, even though his name is Jolly Ranch. Just because, you know, that's what we wanted to name him. There just wasn't enough room! Why, damn you, not enough room! Fuck. Gosh dang, I need to stop saying that. I really need to cut back on cursing. Like, seriously, dude, it's not that freaking hard. What the heck? There are rules on the internet. You cannot say those words. The parents will not approve. They will complain and gripe, and they will do their best to bitch. Mother, you piece of garbage. Lead the way. I, I fail as, I fall as against the gym leaders. You gives out the quick claw, yes? You not gives out the quick claw? No quick claw? Oh, mother, mother of trash. Maybe the quick claw just isn't in, it, isn't in this generation. Maybe I have just gotten too used to the comforts of the new games. The new generation, and I have lost track of the old. This isn't smart, this is not smart, this is not smart, this is dumb, this is really dumb, really, really dumb. To send out Jolly Ranch. However, Colt paid off, he somehow defeated Bellsprout. And your fat also did it. Good job! Whoa. Mother. Whoa, guy, you fucking spin fast. Potion up. Potion up again. And we just keep on going. Never say die. Aw, another guy to fight with his also bell sprouts. It's called Sprout Tower for a reason, I guess. Because all these little guys are just little sprouts trying to grow and grow and surpass my power. The power of a little boy. Always surpasses the power of you old men who have trained for generations. I have trained for ten minutes and I am already stronger than you. It's actually been closer to twenty minutes, but... You know... We're gonna beat the first gym today. And we gotta do it. Even if the video is really long, and I annoy you, we're gonna make it. Oh, do you have a hoot hoot finally? Still, just more... Frickin' Bellsprouts. Mother of Lord. 
Jesus in heaven. I really need Jolly Ranch to learn Rock Throw because the first gym is not going to be easy for him. Well, I mean, it will be easy for him, but... Whatever. Gotta get out of the tower and go heal. You piece of garbage. You're all in my way. I guess it's my fault for having the speed up so high that it's kind of hard to control a little bit. But we will do it. I will be sure to delete the saves before I end and send him the save for him to do his episode. Which, his will definitely be better than mine because he has kept with the YouTube thing and is actually really good and he's a really funny guy, I promise. So much better than me. You guys should be lucky that he's the one working with me on this project. Because he is... As I, I, I'm giving him way too much praise because, I mean, he's good. He really is. You guys are going to love him. I do. He's a good friend. Great guy. Glad I met him. Oh my god, but <laughs> he claims the elder, but he's weak. <laughs> he escaped. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. Blah, blah, blah. Let me check your Pokemon. Oh my gosh, how did I not know the Elder would have a bell sprout? No! Wow, I think he crit me right off the bat. But take that, Elder. Oh, another bell sprout? Good thing we have Chick -a Love to stand up to you. Which I was trying to avoid using him for, you know, he's not going to be useful during the very first gym. Get back out there, Jolly Ranch. Beat that hoot hoot. Run away. Get back out there, Chicka Love. Get you and Jolly Rancher some nice old EXP. Oh, skills, flash, HMO5. You can light up dark places. Yeah, yeah. Like I needed. I've already been in Dark Cave. Already caught me a good old Pokemon in there. I was only going to play this on the times too, but since I do want to end the video soon, I'm going to go ahead and enter... How much money do we have? I want to make sure that he starts out with none. Just to be a douche. I can buy four potions. Not 99. Four. He gets $12 to his name. Well, I guess he's going to have whatever I get after I finish the gym, since after I finish the gym, I have to save and quit. But, you know, it'll be great. 216. Nice. What do you have to say, boy? You have a Pidgey? Oh, jeez. That is a lot. A whole six. Oh, yeah. Defeated that Pidgey. Get out there, chick of love It's up to you, boy. Reflect. I guess Reflect can help. Because weakens physical attacks, I guess. Which is good, because flying types are physical Pokemon. Better put your fat up in front, even though he's not going to know any rock-type moves to take out the gym leader with ease. But we will do it. Even if the video stops recording for some reason, I'll do it and still pass on. Because you'll know I beat it at least. But let's try our best to just defeat this guy. Oh, we learned Lick. That's super useful here. Not. Tackle. Super glad you have that level 9 Pidgeotto. Must be from Viridian Forest. And that's it, my people! We have done it! The nuke has been released. We have defeated Gym Leader Faulkner. And we will initiate our save. And we will end this episode here. Thank you for watching. I've been Isaiah of Nuclear Reviews. And you have been my audience. Thanks a lot. I love you. Bye.